हेलो स्टूडेंट माय सर दिगंत सखीवाला आई एम योर साइंस टीचर टुडे विल कंटिन्यू चैप्टर नंबर नाइन फोर्स एंड लॉज ऑफ मोशन इन दैट वी विल लर्न द लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मोमेंटम बिफोर गोइंग ऑन दिस टॉपिक वी विल रिवाइज फ्यू पॉइंट मोमेंटम द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ मास एंड वेलोसिटी इज कॉल्ड द मोमेंटम न्यूटन फर्स्ट लॉ इफ द ऑब्जेक्ट इज इन द मोशन इट विल रिमेन इन द मोशन और इफ द ऑब्जेक्ट इज इन द रेस विल रिमेन इन द रेस टिल एंड अनटिल अनबैलेंस फोर्स एक्ट ऑन इट न्यूटन सेकेंड लॉ थ्री डेफिनेशंस आर देर द रेट ऑफ चेंज इन मोमेंटम इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्सनल टू फोर्स सेकेंड डेफिनेशन द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ मास एंड एक्सलोरेशन इज कॉल द फोर्स थर्ड डेफिनेशन टू प्रोड्यूस वन मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर एक्सलोरेशन इन वन किलोग्राम ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट वॉट एवर फोर्स इज अप्लाइड इज वन न्यूटन फोर्स न्यूटन थर्ड लॉ Action and reaction are equal in magnitude, but they are in opposite direction. So we can write F A B equals to minus F B A. Okay, dear student, concentrate here. Two balls are there: ball A and ball B. Ball A velocity is more than the ball B. So what happens when they are moving in the linear direction? Ball A and ball B collide. After collision, the ball A velocity is changed and ball B velocity is changed. Consider that mass of the ball A is m A. Initial velocity of ball A that is u A. Mass of the v of ball B is m B. Initial velocity of ball B that is u B. After collision, their masses remain same means m A and m B, but their velocity are different. So after collision, the velocity of ball A that is v A that is final velocity of ball A. V B that is the final velocity of ball B. Okay. so dear student here we will find the momentum before collision and after collision okay so we will do here momentum of ball a momentum of ball a we know momentum equals to p equals to mv so momentum of ball a pa equals to ma into ua second momentum of ball b equals to pb equals to mb into ub so total initial momentum equals to pi equals to pa plus pb equals to ma ua plus mb ub now dear student we are going to find the after collision what is the momentum after collision what is momentum we are we are going to find so momentum of ball a so that we are representing by pa ds so pa ds equals to ma into va momentum of ball b after collision equals to pb ds pb ds equals to mb into vb so total final momentum that is pf equals to pa ds plus pb ds equals to ma into va plus mb mb vb now dear student we know newton's third law action and reaction are equal in magnitude so but they are in opposite direction so uh, here action is fab and the reaction is fba concentrate here action and reaction are equal in magnitude but they are in opposite direction okay so a fab means what a apply the force on b so ball a apply the force on b so momentum of ball b change so momentum of ball b final momentum of ball b is pb ds minus initial momentum of ball b that is pb divided by t equals to minus sign fba means b apply the force on a means momentum of ball a is change so final momentum of ball a that is pa ds minus initial momentum of ball that is pa divided by t this we can write according to newton second law that is f equals to delta p upon t okay now instead of pb ds we are writing here mb vb minus pb we will write mb ub minus pa ds pa ds we will write ma va minus pa we will write here ma ua divided by t t t is cancel so we can write mb vb minus mb ub equals to minus 
Now minus sign are there, so we will write. We have to write everything in the bracket. Minus M A V A minus M A U A. Now we will open the bracket. M B V B minus M B U B equals to minus M A V A minus minus plus. So M A U A. We will change the side. By changing the side, we get M A U A plus M B U B equals to M A V A plus M B V B. Now, dear student, this M A U A is the initial moment of ball A. M B U B is the initial moment of ball B. M A V A that is the after collision. What is the momentum? That is P A dash. And M B V B that is the momentum of ball B after collision. P B dash. So this is the initial momentum and this is the final momentum. From this we can say that final momentum equals to initial momentum in absence of external force. Here total fo totally external force is absent. Means friction force is also absent. In absence of external force, total momentum of a system. Comprising of two or more interacting bodies is constant. So total momentum of the system is remain constant. This is called the law of conservation of momentum. Thank you.